you are starting with iGaze in the classroom or your centre or organisation, this webinar aims to outline the equipment options available from Zytec to help you choose the most suitable setup or package. My name's Tracy Bode and I'll be your host today. Together with Karen Muscat, who's another speech pathologist and assistive technology consultant at Zytec, we've been involved in eye gaze evaluation with more than 100 students through the eye gaze days we hold around Australia. We've seen how the eye gaze technology opens new avenues for students at the early learning level, including engagement, participation, independent activity, being able to take a turn with individual work displayed through the electronic whiteboard, and for others, it's access to the computer so they can move forward with their work across the curriculum. iGaze access to these early learning computer activities reminds me of what we've been doing for 20 plus years using single switch access for computer games. Single switch access has been successful for many students, but it may also be an obstacle for some. There may be difficulty finding a switch site or using the switch reliably. And even if these goals are achieved, we often see difficulty progressing from single switch to the next level, which requires an increased cognitive load. Next, you'll see some students starting their eye gaze journey using the early learning software. This footage shows the first time use of iGaze computer access, using the cause and effect activities they are playing, learning through interaction, and learning iGaze control. To introduce the eye gaze technology into an education setting, we find there are two main approaches. Each approach may be suitable for one or multiple systems. Usually the equipment is shared by multiple students across the school, or there may be one system in each of a number of classrooms. The first approach, this is the preferred approach to achieve the goal at the lowest cost. This is possible with the eye gaze foundations by inclusive technologies. Included is one MyGaze Eye Tracker, one software suite called Attention and Looking, and mounting brackets to connect the camera to your Windows desktop computer, monitor, laptop or tablet computers. The second approach is to equip the school with a system or systems that will be suitable for a wider range of students. This is achieved with equipment that can be more flexibly set up to accommodate individual seating and positioning and can be further expanded with additional software suites and the use of the IntelliGaze iGaze camera, which has future potential for applications beyond early learning. There are three concepts presented here. By the end of this webinar, I hope you will understand the pros and cons of each. The first is adding the iGaze technology to an existing Windows desktop computer. Second is adding the iGaze technology to your own Windows tablets. We call both of these concepts do-it-yourself, DIY, as you are putting all the components together to make a system. The third option is one of our complete systems designed for purpose, supplied, ready for use. There are three key elements of any iGaze system. The first is the equipment consisting of the computer, the camera and the mount. Second is the software. The third element is the positioning of the student. Which option is going to work best for your education setting? We find there are a number of considerations and budget is often the priority for education settings. These systems range from around $2,000 and for this you get the bare essentials an eye gaze camera and one software package or activity suite. The next step up is a system which can be positioned flexibly and is useful for a wider range of students. 
The strategy is to set up a system to accommodate different seating positions of students, as we've seen that positioning is one of the key elements for successful eye gaze. This can be achieved by adding mounting components. With additional software, this can take the package up to around four to $5,000 for the do-it-yourself kits. And to these packages, you still need to add your own computer or tablet. Pricing for the complete systems is over $10,000. These are designed to be communication devices for individuals, and many of the funding agencies around Australia will contribute to funding for individual communication systems. The second consideration is the time and the resources available and the technical skills and computer knowledge to put towards the do-it-yourself kits and setting them up. Mainstream computers are constantly changing. The assistance we can provide is in the form of a guide to indicate the computer specifications, features and considerations when choosing a computer to use with the eye gaze technology. We're unable to recommend or suggest specific computer models or brands. So where should you start in setting up an eye gaze system when you want to provide the best opportunities for your students? The best place to start is with the students themselves. There are four steps in putting together an eye gaze system. You'll need to choose a computer, choose an eye gaze camera, choose a mount and select the software. And it's not a linear process as one decision can impact on another. But where to start depends on the students and who will be using the system. If you profile the students, particularly their seating and positioning, together with their short and long-term goals, you'll be able to know whether the basic and lowest cost option of attaching an eye gaze camera to an existing desktop computer monitor will be suitable. For example, the student in the image here would not be able to use a standard computer monitor on a desktop pedestal stand due to her reclined position. She needs a specialised mount. So if you decide that you must use an existing desktop computer so you can use the lowest cost system, some students will not be able to use the eye gaze system. So you might question whether this is cost effective in what you are trying to achieve. We're almost ready to cover the finer considerations in setting up an eye gaze system. But first, we'll recap the information presented so far. I noted there were two approaches that education settings tend to take when setting up eye gaze systems. The first is where the goal is to achieve the lowest cost system possible. And the second is to invest so that a larger number of students can benefit from the equipment. Next, I introduced the three concepts in putting an eye gaze system together, adding the equipment to an existing desktop computer, adding the equipment to a tablet computer, or obtaining a complete system set up and ready for use. Next, I presented the three elements for any eye gaze system set up. The first is the equipment, the computer, the eye gaze camera and the mount. Second, the software and third, the students or users. Not one element can exist without the other and each needs to be coordinated to work together. And finally, we'll be presenting the steps to set up the equipment. First, it'll be necessary to choose the computer, then the eye gaze camera and then the mount and finally the software to complete the kit. Step one, choosing a computer. If you're starting with the selection of a computer, you may be choosing between an existing desktop Windows computer or perhaps buying new Windows tablets. With either option, we suggest you start with our guide to check that the specifications and features are suitable for the eye gaze systems. There are some points to note. A desktop monitor on a pedestal stand provides only limited positioning options. So if you have students that require specialised positioning, they won't be able to use the system as the monitor and eye gaze camera need to be angled in accordance with the student's face, that is, in the same plane. If you're buying a Windows tablet, 
Avoid the 10 inch screens as these are generally too small for the eye gaze targets needed at the early learning level. Windows tablets can be mounted on the specialised mounts which provides a wider range of positioning options so that the system can be used with the largest number of students. The additional cost of the mount may be well worthwhile so that more students can benefit from using the system. If you have an old all-in-one system you're considering using, check the weight of it against the specifications of the mount. In setting up an iGaze system using your desktop computer or a Windows tablet, the next consideration is to choose between the two cameras we have available at Zytec that are suitable for the education setting. We have the MyGaze Eye Tracker and the IntelliGaze Starter Edition camera. Both are made in Germany and both simply plug into the USB port and are supplied with their relevant installation software. So what is the difference between these cameras and which one will be most suitable for your needs? To explain the difference between the two cameras, we have a separate video with more technical and application detail. But following here is a simplified explanation. So what is the difference between the MyGaze camera and the IntelliGaze Starter Edition camera? The MyGaze eye tracker was developed and designed specifically for the entry level student. It offers mouse control only. This is what's required for the entry level software at the interactive learning level. The IntelliGaze Starter Edition is part of a sophisticated three-tiered iGaze camera system. Each camera edition is upgradable to the next without the need to buy a new iGaze camera. The Starter Edition also provides mouse control, but it has additional future potential. This can be used with the next level of software for the students who progress and develop skills beyond the interactive learning application. Alternatively, you may opt to start with the next level camera, which provides the mouse control, in addition to the integration with the next level software for transition to communication and communication. So the capacity for students to progress is already enabled in the technology. Next, you'll need to connect the iGaze camera to the computer and position the whole system so that the students can use it most effectively. The camera will need to sit underneath the monitor and the MyGaze and the IntelliGaze both connect to the computers in different ways. The MyGaze is supplied with magnetic brackets. There is one type that sits underneath the monitor with double-sided tape and there are different types of magnetic brackets suitable for tablets or laptops. These are quite simple. The connection is just magnetic, so it is possible to accidentally knock the camera off the magnetic bracket. The IntelliGaze connects to the monitor in a more substantial way. It has a bracket and a mount plate, and this requires the VESA mount points, which are found on many monitors, but not necessarily all. So have a look at the back of the monitor and see if it has the four thread holes positioned at 100 millimetres square or 75 millimetres square. This is an international standard. These can then accommodate the VESA mounts and the mounting points required for the IntelliGaze mount bracket. Positioning of the standard monitor with any iGaze camera is critical to the success of iGaze access. Using the standard computer monitor, the positioning and mounting options are more limited. You can use the standard pedestal mount supplied with the monitor, but this will really only be suitable for students who can sit upright in the midline with their head up. The office arms or brackets, such as the Ergotron arm pictured here, can provide more flexible positioning with height adjustment and some angle adjustment so that students can be accommodated in more individual positions. The large rolling mount from Rehardapt pictured here is the one that we find suits most students in a range of positions, whether in wheelchairs, lying down, seated reclined, with heads forward 
or to the side and so on. But this does have a weight limit. So if you have a heavy all-in-one computer, it will probably be too heavy to mount on this rolling mount. Up to six kilograms is fine. So your monitor or all-in-one needs to weigh less than six kilograms. And it probably needs to have a VESA mounting point on the back so that the mount plates can be attached to the back of the monitor so it can be fitted to the mount. Next we'll consider the options for mounting the Windows tablets. There are more flexible positioning options with tablet mounting than there are for the standard monitors on computers, but you will need a tablet holder. We provide a tablet holder that is compatible with most mounts, including Rehardapt, Daisy and VESA mounts. Both the MyGaze and the IntelliGaze cameras are compatible with these mounts and as you can see quite a range of flexible positioning is possible. So is this all making sense? Is it coming together for you? Does it sound too complex? Essentially the equipment setup requires connecting a USB device, the iGaze camera, and installing the software. Combining this with the computer requires technical skills. Positioning of the system is really the key to success. So if you start with your students' needs, the most suitable equipment options should follow. To bypass all of this, we offer complete systems all set up designed for purpose, ready to use. Zytec offers a choice of four complete systems. These are designed to be communication devices for individuals, but they work well as shared devices across the school. They also offer the software and features to enable students to move beyond eye gaze from the early learning level. The options are the GridPad i18 and the GridPad i11 from the GridPad range the Mobi 2 IntelliGaze and the TELUS 5 IntelliGaze. Of these options, we would recommend the GridPad i18 as the most suitable for entry-level eye gaze. This system offers the 18-inch screen, which is the largest available in a complete system. These systems are provided with many inbuilt features. You'll have loudspeakers for sound output, switch jacks so that switch access can also be used, all software required is pre-installed, all software and hardware is set up and operates seamlessly together. There's environmental control, which means that the student can operate external appliances such as fan, TV, DVD, a blender, toys and other remote controlled devices. More information about these individual devices can be found on our website. You may have students on the path to using iGaze for communication who may be eligible for funding through the various agencies. Your speech pathologist and occupational therapist should be aware of these funding avenues. The complete systems attract a higher price tag than the do-it-yourself systems, but as you can see, all the work to set up and correctly combine the system elements has been done for you. The developers of these systems are specialised assistive technology companies in Europe. These companies only develop and manufacture assistive technology. Zytec is the appointed Australian dealer and we are able to pass on the expertise of these developers through these complete systems. Mounting the complete systems. The complete systems are provided with the compatible mounting plates. So any of the specialised mounts previously described can be used with these systems. This means they can be set up flexibly to accommodate individual positioning for a large number of students. They can also be moved easily from classroom to classroom. Choosing software for early learning eye gaze activities is relatively straightforward. There are suites of software specially designed for early learning using iGaze Access. Look to Learn is a suite of 40 activities designed for people starting out with iGaze technology. Each activity targets a different skill from early cause and effect through to accurate iGaze control. Assessment tools are included. 
Look to Learn Scenes and Sounds is an expansion package of a further 26 activities. The Look to Learn suites use a contemporary graphic design cartoon style which is appealing to a wide range of students including older teenagers and adults. At this point we hope that the packages and pricing listed on our website will make sense. The components listed have all been mentioned in this webinar. Again, I would suggest starting with your students to develop an understanding of their needs, particularly in relation to positioning. This will lead you to the mounting required and then the computer and tablet options. On the website, you'll find each package itemised with the hardware elements combined to add to your computer. The complete systems are listed under Communication AAC. Further resources are available, providing additional information and software trials. These are listed on our website under the iGaze Packages Support tab. If you need further assistance, please contact Xitech to discuss options with our assistive technology consultants. Don't forget the additional webinar with the further detail and technical information about the modes of iGaze available across the iGaze cameras. This has been an exciting journey for the schools who have started. So thanks for joining me to learn about putting together eye gaze systems for your school.